Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to embed websites as iframes in your Figma presentations using the Pitch Deck plugin. So to get started, all you need to do is go to your Figma file and click on this little resources icon at the top of the file. And if you search for Pitch Deck, so that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K, and under the plugins tab you'll see Pitch Deck pop up. If you just go ahead and click on that item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this more options icon over here and clicking save Figma plugin. And that's just gonna save it to your Figma plugins list for easy access later. I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna to go to my canvas and right click anywhere, just go down to plugins, then go down to saved plugins and click on the pitch deck item. And that's just gonna run the plugin that we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it basically allows you to add different frames to your Figma file and those get treated as slides. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of different frames. Uh, these have all got different content layers in them. And inside of the plugin, you've basically got uh, those slide layers show up on the right hand side here where you can add things like animations and embeds and links and all those good things that we'd wanna add into our presentations. So for today, I'm just gonna be focusing on how to add websites as iframe embeds into any of your slides. So we're gonna do that by creating a slide with a couple of placeholder layers. So you can see here, I've got two placeholder layers. I've got a placeholder layer rectangle for a small screen and a large screen. And I'm gonna embed a website URL into both of them. So the way we can do that is we just go to our embeds tab. So with the slide selected, go to the embeds tab over here in the plugin. And that's gonna allow you to paste in a URL to embed into those uh, different layers. So for today, I'm just gonna be using Wikipedia as an example. So if I wanted to add a Wikipedia article about data RAMs, uh, I can do that by copying the URL from my browser. And then in each of these placeholder frames, I'm just gonna paste in that URL and that's basically gonna embed the link as an iframe. So don't be too worried about the overflow that's happening here. Uh, the reason for that is because the plugin is quite small, the window is quite small, and it's loading in this iframe in the small preview. Uh, it's gonna look a bit funny or it might load up the mobile version, uh, but we can see what that looks like on the large screen if we now export this presentation and present it in the browser. So the way we can do that is just by going into the plugin uh, header and clicking on the export button. And then if you just make sure that the pitch deck presentation web URL format is selected, uh, there's a few formats you can select for exporting. Uh, the embeds are not gonna work for things like PowerPoint files or PDFs. So if you wanna use these website embeds, you've just gotta make sure the pitch deck presentation option is selected. And then you can click on the upload web presentation or update web presentation button here. And that's just gonna export all of the slides in your presentation to the Pitch Deck web app. And we're gonna be opening up that URL in a second and I'll show you what that looks like uh, now. So we've got our presentation ready and you can either copy the URL down here. So this one doesn't need a password or you can share the password uh, separately with the URL. Today, I'm just gonna be clicking on the passwordless URL and opening that in the browser. And once that loads, you'll be able to see that we've got our presentation here as we expect. We've got a few different slides, uh, but we've got our fourth slide, which is the website embed slide. So if I click on that now, you can see that uh, we've got our Wikipedia article embedded directly into the page. So uh, we're able to basically uh, interact with this website as if we were browsing through it on a different tab but we've got it added directly into our Figma presentation. So I've got two on mine, I've got a desktop and mobile version. So you can see here the mobile version uh, of the site and the desktop version side by side. So this could be really handy if you're presenting a uh, website that's in progress. So let's say you're an agency and you're presenting uh, work in progress or final live versions of a website that you've developed for them. Uh, you could compare a website for mobile and desktop next to each other in a slide and go through different pages of that website dynamically in your presentation to them. So the one caveat with this is that it will only work if the website doesn't have a cross origin policy on it that blocks the website from being embedded in other uh, URLs or other websites. So for Wikipedia, it's fine. For some other websites, it'll be fine. Probably for your own websites as well, it'll be fine. But if you try to embed sites like uh, Google, for example, that's probably not gonna work. So we can just try that now. So if we try to add google.com 
uh, you can see here that it's basically just giving us a white frame. And the reason for that is that there's a cross origin policy on a site like Google, which basically tells other websites that if you try to load their website in through an iframe on a different domain other than Google, uh, then it's going to not let you do that. So it might be for security reasons or privacy reasons. Uh, but in this case, Google is not going to be embeddable into your presentation. And there's going to be quite a few uh, websites that have that policy because they don't want their content or their ser service or site uh, embedded on different domains. So they'll block it. And if that's the case, there's nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. So for your own websites or websites that you're developing or want to share with clients that you own, uh, this is going to be pretty simple. You just make sure that there's no uh, cross origin policy that's blocking uh, iframe embeds and you'll be able to embed your links directly in there and view those websites directly in the file. Uh, so as I mentioned, you can basically uh, change this around as well. So if we didn't want a mobile version, we just wanted a larger desktop one, you can just resize your Figma frame and now you've got a full width uh, embed. So the embed is basically just the same size as whatever you decide to uh, include your Figma file or Figma layer as, and you can now update that. So if we want to update this in our presentation, you can basically just re-upload the presentation through the plugin. And once that's done, we can just go back to our presentation and refresh it. So if we jump back to our tab, refresh that, and once it loads and we can click back into our frame and you can see down here that it's been updated. And now we've just got the larger width version of the website embed. Uh, so that's looking really good. If you wanted to just do a full screen one, you could even make it the entire size of the frame. So you could make it full screen and that would also uh, be totally fine. So I'll just do that as a last example. And once that updates, I'll just refresh it again. So we'll update that again, refresh it. And now we should have a full screen uh, embed. So you can see here that the embed is totally full screen now. Uh, so that's basically just taking up the entire size of the slide and you can basically navigate that however you want. So you can obviously interact with this embed as well. So we could go to uh, different pages in the embed and click around and that's going to function the same way as a normal website. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you a really quick example of how to use uh, pitch deck for embedding uh, website URLs, ideally website URLs that you own or are presenting to clients uh, is probably the best way to go. Um, and there's also a whole bunch of other supported embed formats as well. So uh, there's a bunch of official embed formats that are supported. So if you click on this little more embeds link in the plugin, it's going to open up the pitch deck documentation page and you'll be able to see all these different uh, platforms that are essentially uh, supported. So you can embed things like Figma Designs, Canva Designs, Loom, Lottie Files, uh, Google Docs. So these are all official uh, embeds that you can add as well. So feel free to go through that list as well if you want to embed other kinds of content besides websites um, as we've just had a look at today. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.